and I'm here. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Uh, I'm just found that funny. I'm here to interview him about these latest photographs that I have just taken of him. So this was the film photography project, low ISO film stock, and I just wanted to know what you thought of the uh, the experience in the pictures. Yeah, all right. Yeah. That's it. I just okay. Let me start this video with a tale of a middle-aged fool who is hungry to shoot all his film from his Analog Wonderland Wonderbox subscription. Little did this balding fool know, the film stock that he aimlessly selected had an ISO of six. Yes, six. Not 600, not 60, not 69, but six. And suddenly this weeb realised that his Pentax K1000 only goes down to ISO 20. Ah, oh, f***. So this is my experience with the film photography project's low ISO film stock. And I was in way too deep. I'd already loaded this film stock prior reading anything about it. And I had to learn how to shoot it. So off I went back to my humble abode to learn how to shoot this and thanks to the team at Analog Wonderland with their YouTube channel that review and tell you how to shoot these films because I wouldn't have done great without that. I don't get it. So back out I went and I went to the Yorkshire Dales to try and shoot ISO 6 at ISO 20. And yeah, you guessed it, this did not bode well for me. Now for any schmuck with a film photography IQ less than mine, which I don't think is many, my advice is to get a light meter if you're going to shoot this. Make sure you shoot this on a tripod and shoot this in daytime. And as we will learn in this video, take notes of your settings and your aperture, your shutter speed for reference when you get your film rolls back, because I did none of these. think this film roll is sick I think it's brilliant I think the images the images that have come out are so crisp and so clear it's just a shame I didn't know what I was doing <laughs> definitely shoot this in bright daylight because the blacks are black and I know it's rare for England that you're going to have a bright day but if anyone's anywhere else in the world that's got a lot more sun than us here in England you lucky <laughs> Also, like, super big shout out to this yellow hoodie because the film stock itself is yellow, so I've got that link, I've got that connection. Yeah, my brain was fried after my first attempt at shooting this. So I think I deserved myself a lovely, fresh beverage. Oh, f am 
I saying? So day two of trying to shoot this, I returned to my old stomping ground, which is Lancaster Skate Park. And uh, yeah, I pretty much spent the majority of my teenage years here. So that was nice. Try the exact same shot, but with the aperture set at f slot four. So I locked it at 20 on the last one. So this one, the shutter speed is from my light meter, said 160 per second. So I've done it two stops up to what it was now, 115 per second. So two photos to compare. I felt so much quicker. Don't like though. This would have been a really nice comparison if I actually took notes. So remember, take notes if you're going to make comparison videos, idiot. call it I think this is the best it gets with this roll but I absolutely love it I love it so much that I think I'm gonna get it printed and yeah it's a bit dark a bit grim and dirty but it reminds me of home so my third day of shooting this I got a little bit bored with the previous stuff I wanted to try and shoot a human being and I knew just the person This is my long lost lover, my Yorkshire yuppie, my homie with a Negroni, or commonly known as just, this is my cousin, Tony. <laughs> just pretend to be normal for like five minutes. <laughs> Shout outs to Tony Bentley. I really think, providing the subject knows that they are to stay still when you're shooting them, this film stock can take some outstanding photographs or outstanding portraits, providing the photographer knows what they're doing. Big shout out to Analog Wonderland for providing this film stock in their Wonderland subscription box and also just a big shout out to Take It Easy for developing this film stock. You guys are really good at what you do and I'm very thankful.
So I'm going to end this video with a promise that I am going to revisit this film stock. However, next time I'm going to have a light meter in hand, my tripod sturdy, a notepad for taking notes and a big set of balls because in the right hands, this film stock is going to be brilliant. Just not these hands. Why am I doing that? Thank you.